What is going on, happy people? Oh, good, nice fish right here. Jack, I think. Oh, oh, oh. oh another one's trying to eat the lure out of his mouth. Not a big fish, but they pull for their size. They nearly turned into a double header. Literally. So, late in the afternoon, my bro Dingo calls me. Hey, Rob, let's go fishing. We come out here. He's been smashing them at night with the fly rod, catching snook and jacks out of the lights. So we got out here, it's a little bit early, and we're gonna throw some lures. Well. Zombie. Oh, nice. oh, come on, no! Oh. And we are on the hunt for the notorious soap fish. Who knows what a soap fish is? What do I have, ladies and gentlemen? Nice fish, you guys. The old Jack Crevallis. As you can see, that light is casting shadows and creating light there. And as the little fish and shrimp come through the light, Pow! The predators will ambush him. There he is. Right here, snook. Come here, come here, come here! Oh! Darn it. Oh, he popped me. Come on, got him. Oh, no. Yep, got him. Uh oh. I dropped down the 15 pound fluoro for the bite. Uh oh, yep, he's woke up now. I'm in trouble. I think it's the only loose of moon jack. I think I might have a snook. It's a snooker! Awesome. 23 inch fish. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm using a spinning rod, and that's what I'm using for bait. It's a little lead head, Berkeley gulp. Looks like a minnow. Uh, this is typically a bait I like to use on the incoming tide. He's throwing a fly. What kind of fly? What are you throwing? This is a little shrimp fly, bonefish fly, but uh, it's got little bitty um, weights on it here just to get it down a little bit. If I see fish down, I can sink this fly down. And there's a lot of shrimp pouring out on this falling tide right now that are that size, so matching the hatch. All right, enough talking. Time to fish. There he is. Got him. Get out of there! Come on! Ladies, oh, come here. I think this, I think this is my moon jack. I just can't get away from him. Hold on a second. That's a horse eye jack. That's a horse eye jack, not a Jack Ravel. Sorry, buddy. Oh, that might be a slotty. Come here. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Come here, that's a real nice fish. Ooh, I got him out away from here. He's coming right here. Look right here, Johnny. Nice fish. This could very easily be a slot fish. Are you kidding me? Just pulled him off. You know, I'm fishing a little tiny, tiny, tiny hook. Oh, such a bummer. That was a really nice fish.
Nice! Oh! Moonfish! That's him! Oh, put him in the boat! Come here, buddy! Yes! <laughs> I'll let you do the honors, mate. All right, you guys, so check this out. That right there is what we've been after. And that's a beauty of a fish. That's called a moonfish. As a kid, we grew up calling them moonfish. But the real name is a look down. As you can see, I mean, they look like they're only paper thin, but they actually have beautiful, nice, white, succulent fillets. And this rascal, he's going on ice. Listen, if you're a fish and Dingo's trying to catch you, the best thing you could do is just swim up and jump in the boat. It would save you a lot of effort. Unbelievable. Okay, so it's proven that you can do this. Now the question is, you can let me throw the fly and try to catch one. I haven't caught a fish on a fly <laughs> in forever. Salt water brine, chill them down so nice and cold. Okay, Dingo, let's just see if you can do it one more time. No, 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 I want to watch. I'm watching right now. I'm watching and learning. <laughs> this dude is a freaking animal. Oh, look at him. He's a little bit small. All right, you mind if I throw one time? Yes, go for it, buddy. <laughs> Dingo's a man. I want some coaching now. You've been catching them. Strip paws. A sharp strip and a paw good paws. Longer pause, one strip pause. And a little bit of diagonal angle. A bit of a 45 degree angle up. Oh, I got bit. I love this fly rod. I mean, this is a sweet setup. Yes. There he is. Got him. Got him. This will be the first fish I've caught in a forever. Pretty much have a moon and crockett size moonfish here. That's a nice one. Oh, Look at buddy. That. Swallowed it. You guys, so I've grown up here. Like, this is truthfully my hometown. And as a kid, that was one of my favorite fish to eat. But I'm not a fly fisherman. Like, yeah, I just caught a fish on a fly, but I'm not a fly fisherman. He is a fly fisherman. So if you guys live around here or are planning a trip down here, this dude is really cool. And you'd learn a lot just spending a night on the water with him. Whether you're catching moonfish or snook or tarpon or daggum hardhead catfish. 
It's a real honor to come out with you, man. Pleasure, thank you. Who's stoked to see those things go on the grill? Can I catch one more? Go for it, mate. That was <laughs> fun. I like watching you catch them. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys. As advertised last night, coming straight out of the ice. Big old beautiful moonfish. Look at that. Using a little silver stag bone and fillet. Best fillet knife in the world. This knife has so much feel. All you gotta do is come in here just like that. The meat. Come up into his head just like a, a Mai Mai. Look at that beautiful, beautiful filet. Let's flip it over. I'm gonna do the same thing. Just let your knife, very important that you have a good sharp knife. Very important to have a good sharp knife. I see all these videos where people are using those rubber handle knives. Just one out of a million that's been made. They can't, they're not even, they're not even remotely close to as good as these silver stag knives. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect filet. Look at that. Okay, y'all, so here's the scoop. I am in like one of the most amazing homes you've ever seen in your whole life. Dingo's mother and father-in-law invited me over to cook and we're here. So in this pot right here, I've got three cups of chicken stock, one cup of water. Only reason I did that is I just wanted to, I didn't want it to have such powerful chicken stock. So three cups of chicken stock, one cup of water, and we are making tricolor quinoa. Simple as everything else. We're gonna use a little butter. Um, spice it up with some pepper and some salt. I'm trying not to start anything on fire there. Really easy stuff. Quinoa is a very small grain and it's a phenomenal side dish. So, um, as well, because we're making seafood, <clears throat> I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon peel just put the lemon peel right in there. Quinoa is real earthy, like it's got a wonderful earthy, like grainy, lovely flavor to it. So whatever you add to it really comes out in the flavor. A little lemon, it's gonna go a long way. I wanna take my, my lemon out, add just a touch more salt, touch more pepper, and in comes two cups of quinoa. Covered up. The quinoa is falling in love right now and we're getting ready to start cracking on this fish. This is gonna be really fun and really easy. You can do this with basically any fish you want. Take some good fresh spinach and make a big old fat bed of it right here. Try not to get it all over the kitchen because you're gonna to have to clean it up later. Spinach will wilt down incredibly. I mean, it goes almost to nothing. So feel free to really pack it in there. Take some salt, take some pepper, mmm, gonna take some fresh garlic, put some garlic in there, that's gonna just make the, the spinach happy, happy, happy. Put some lemon juice on there, and then just a little bit of chicken stock, just like that. Now, what we'll do is we'll lay our fish on top of this bed of spinach, just like that. A little salt, a little pepper. If I was at my house, I'd probably add a little Everglades, but I'm not at my house and I forgot to bring Everglades. 
last but not least, we're going to cut some pallets of butter. Put some butter on top of that. On your aluminum foil, you'll have a shiny side and a matte side. Make sure you put the shiny side down because that will reflect the heat. That's just a little bundle of joy right there. So just check out this place. We're right on the Loxhatchee River. Beautiful backyard. This is one of the most gorgeous houses I've ever stepped foot in my whole life. Huge grill. It's at about 350 degrees. Here's our little love packages. Throw them right in there. Close it up. We're gonna come back and check them in 10 minutes. Everybody, I hope you are having the most blessed, wonderful, happy day ever. I cannot even express to you how excited I am. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Look at that quinoa. So beautiful. Here comes our fish. It's gonna have a lot of steam. Mm. Lord, I thank you so much for this day. I thank you for our wonderful friends. Thank you for our strength and our health, and thank you for our salvation. Lord, please nourish us through our bodies and forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, y'all. This is what it's all about. It all started right out there. That's the Loxahatchee River. That's where we were fishing last night. Dingo is an incredible captain. You don't call him Captain Jerry. Yeah, I call him Jerry. Oh, my. All my friends are very good. Oh, my. That's so good. Wow. Yeah, you don't need self, Robert. This is real good. <laughs> Great taste. Wow, oh. it's such a gentle taste. Yeah. It's really mild. Super mild. Can I cut that? I eat this fish every week. Now yeah. you say you don't even like fish. I don't like fish, but this no, is no, good no, fish. No, that fish. This is incredible. It's out of this world. Thank you. Oh, no, no, no worries. That fish. I hope you enjoyed that. I've known Dingo now for for many, many years. We've fished together and had great times all over the place. But this is what life is all about. Going out, enjoying the outdoors, hunting, fishing, cleaning, cooking, enjoying life as a family. Sarah and our girls, actually, I didn't even know what I was getting into. I just knew I was coming over here to cook some fish. I didn't realize I was coming to this, like, paradise type house. Uh, but you can count on seeing us back here in the very near future. Listen, if you guys want to see more videos, check them out. Deer Meat for Dinner is about to start rocking and rolling. Fishing season is here. We're going to be crossing, going to the Bahamas. The Rambo's ready to rock. I love you guys. Take care and God bless.